Hey guys, how's it going? I like to mow here, and just wanted to give you a quick update on the trailer. Uh, I did take the weekend off from mowing. I didn't have any jobs to mow because I did all during the week, which is nice. Uh, so I took yesterday and today uh, to get my trimmer racks and my blower rack mounted onto my trailer. So this is what it looks like. Um, got the steel FS90R on top and the PE266 on the bottom. I do have the engine mount kit on here, so it supports the engine so it can't wobble and break the shaft. Uh, one word of caution for those of you if you do have a curved shaft edger, uh, they don't fit quite right unless the, you mess with the spacing a bit, which I didn't. And I got it all mounted up and then realized that I need to adjust the spacing, but I didn't adjust it. I just kind of fudged it a bit and got it got the block to work um, as you can see this one is flipped around this one's the other way uh, it has enough support in there so it won't be coming out um, I just want to show you guys the uh, mounting system that my dad and I came up with we didn't want to drill into the frame of the trailer um, we could have and just mounted it right on the rails here but for one there wasn't a support here that I could because this, um, when you mount these, the locking side being this side here uh, has to be mounted over a uh, support like this. But since there isn't one here, and we didn't want to drill into the frame of the trailer, what we did instead was uh, we came up. We these are the extensions you can buy. Uh, these are the 14-inch extensions, and then the trail. The, this is normally just bolt. You just put it up against the here and use the bracket it comes with you can see there and uh, bolt it to the trailer then you don't have to put it right over a support uh, we could have done that but we came up with this we uh, uh, bolted it down through the floor you can see the bolts so let me turn the light here you can see those bolts right here here and here Oops. Um, and then I took U-bolts, uh, square U-bolts, we cut some pressure treated 2x4 because we spaced it out away because there's a, the angle iron for the frame extends a bit under this board here. So we spaced it so we wouldn't have to drill through that, it goes right through the, the wood instead of the frame. And then we took a U-bolt on either side, uh, a piece of a 2x4, it's all pressure treated so it won't rot out. Uh, and then you bolted it and then used uh, lag screws instead of the t self tapping metal screws that the extension came with and bolted it to the 2x4 and then the uh, the U bolt comes around the frame here and it is super solid like it's shaking the entire trailer on um, this side we only did one U bolt because of the uh, limited space with the fender and tractor supply didn't have any more U-bolts. We bought out this size of U-bolt. These are 5 sixteenths by 2 inches wide and 5 inches long. We bought out the both tractor supply stores worth of U-bolts in our town to do it. And we did the same for the blower rack over there. I can't get over there right now because I have a bunch of stuff. But uh, The BR600 is on there. I can put my 130BT on there, but it'd be really small, um, so I probably won't. I'll, if I ever take that, I'll just put it in the back of the pickup truck. Um, but basically, this system here completely eliminates drilling through the frame of the trailer, and we didn't want to do that because it would cause it to rust if we didn't paint it. Um, and I also put I also bought fast straps for the uh, Axmark Turf Tracer. These are from the same company, Green Touch which also makes these racks. Um, they're $26.95 a piece, so basically what it comes with is those two wheel chalk, those metal chocks down there, and then this strap. The strap runs over the tire and keeps the, the mower from hopping. Um, I usually w or I was using ratchet straps and tying the mower down with the cleats on the trailer, which works fine, but doesn't keep it from jumping up and down if you go over bumps. Uh, and you can see where it was rubbing on the front of the trailer. Maybe. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, I need to repaint that. 
But, uh, yeah, I'm really satisfied with these racks so far. I'll be mowing tomorrow, so I'll see how they work. Um, but yeah, this engine support kit, I definitely recommend you getting. Um, uh, Skagman, I don't know if you've seen him on YouTube. Uh, he made a video a while back about the trimmer rack warning, green touch trimmer rack warning. Uh, he had a, I think it was an FS94R uh, snap off at the shaft. Uh, this is before he had the shaft or the engine mounts on it. So, and since these mounts so tight, um, that causes the engine, since the engine is back here, causes it to wobble. And you can see these aren't even pushing down on them. They don't move at all. They can move up, but they can't move down very far. And I put mine up, so it's actually pushing up just a tad on these, so it can't move. Um, so yeah, guys, that's basically what I got. These are obviously the two position racks. Um, and I'm going to be doing a review on all these racks a month or two probably, uh, just so I can use them for a while, see if there's anything I don't like. Well, one thing I don't like is the uh, blower rack comes with a cheap, knock off master master lock padlock I'm probably gonna put a heavier duty lock on that because someone could just come by and cut it off with a bolt cutter but I can get the uh, grade 10 locks which are the hardest locks made and basically they need hydraulic bolt cutters to cut through them so it's basically next to impossible to steal it so yeah guys that's about it um, I might get some milling footage tomorrow not quite sure just need to see if how it's how busy it is, but so yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.